Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com and we want to talk a little bit about the anatomy of a harness, of a kiteboarding type harness, so everybody kind of understands a little bit of the simple uh, terminology. Now, uh, what we normally have, basis of the two things, is a seat type harness and a waist type harness. So this is what you would call a waist. There are no straps down here, so it's a, it goes right around your waist. Pretty much simple there. The other one is a seat type harness. Now a seat type harness will give you a lower hook point and it goes down lower and as you see here it has leg straps. This will keep that harness from riding up on you and that's what we call a seat type. It's around, uh, basically around your butt area and uh, definitely supports that load a little bit lower where a waist harness will be a little bit higher. Now there are other harnesses as well. This is a, uh, a hybrid type harness. This is the Chameleon from Dekine and it has the seat down below here but it's Velcro, you can remove them. So if you wanted to start out with a, a seat, more of a kind of a seat type harness and then move up to a waist or vice versa or you have other uses for it, some people will ride this uh, freestyle without the seat and then they will get out there and ride uh, maybe a full boarding um, or a long term racing or whatever they want or if it's more comfortable to have the seat put back on there. It's very simple as the leg straps connect up into the bar. So there's a bunch of different ones. This is a waist. Uh, this is the pyro and it definitely has structure to it. So on that waist you have the inside and you have molded parts. This is the inside of the harness and then of course the outside of the harness. Uh, then the next one is a board shorts type harness. Uh, so you basically be wearing a pair of shorts and internally it is like a seat harness. It has leg straps internally on the seats and as you can see here it has the standard bar. So we'll get into that. You've got your standard bar. This is a standard kite bar. Most kite bars, almost all of them have these bumps on each side. This keeps the uh, chicken loop from falling out. So that's your standard bar. It's got your hold down loop here with your hold down strap. And most of these do have, yes, the standard bar on them. Now, some other conversions that can be uh, done on those on the bars is a slider bar. This is where you could directly connect your chicken loop into this line and it can slide back and forth. So if you're looking for a slider type bar, uh, this is on the uh, ride harness. This is one of their bars. The other option is, uh, well, option bar. This is the kind option bar. This has the hook on it which if you're hooking in here, it has buckles in here and it also allows it to slide if you want to. It has a lot of options in that bar. So there are definitely some different terminology. Uh, then you have your harness hook. That's what your chicken loop hooks into. Um, your buckles on the side, so your bar buckles here, bar strap slots or your quick release. You will see a real quick, quick release. Now, other things that come on the harness are the backside here, which you will see is a leash line or a, a line back in here. This is for your leash. This is for your kite leash. Now, a lot of them come with hooks on the sides as well for short leashes. So you'll have this ring right here next to your bar. This is for a short leash, or you have like a handle pass leash back here that can move from side to side on you. Uh, and these are also removable on most harnesses. Uh, some people use them. I think we're probably in the 85-90% that do not actually use this. They use the rings on the side here. So you have a definite direction of where your leash is. So these are the lines behind. Then you've got your harness buckles. All buckles are usually tucked underneath here. So you can actually just uh, strap in your straps, your excess straps. There's also a key slot on the side. I do not use this in most cases. I'd rather put my key somewhere else than on me. I've had it lost before. Now the other thing that come on almost all harnesses now is a knife. So the knife is in here. So just in case you get tangled into your kite or your system by any means, you can quickly pull this out and uh, cut the lines and to kind of give you a release from that system. Uh, any of the straps that go through the bar here in the center, this is called the bar hold down strap. Uh, but that's basically about it to kind of give you some terminology, the quick release I talked about here. And they all come in different shapes and sizes. Again, harnesses, if, uh, if I had to explain to somebody, I would definitely tell them that uh, these are like tennis shoes. You want to make sure that you try to get as much information as you can before purchasing to make sure it works on you. Uh, the other thing that I didn't describe is the power belt here. I just want to quickly inside of each harness is an elastic type power belt 
that uh, tensions up the harness. A lot of people don't know that that's in there or how to use this correctly. You definitely put these on tensioned before you put any of the spreader bar across the harness. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at KiteBoarding.com to kind of give you some more education on uh, the kite boarding harness uh, terminology.